If you want to learn how to blur a video in CapCut, now maybe you want to blur the entire video like this, or maybe you want to blur something in your video, or maybe you want to blur a face like that, or maybe you just want to blur the background in your video, keep watching because this video will show you how to blur in CapCut step by step. All right, let's use this video as an example. So first let's click and hold, and then we bring it down to the timeline just like this. So let's start off with the easiest one, how to blur a face in CapCut. So if you look over here on the top, there's effects. So click on effects. Now you're gonna see all these different video effects on the left. Now what you wanna do is close it, click on this little arrow to close this, and then you can see body effects. So if you click on body effects, you can see that over here, you'll see face mosaic. Okay, if you click and hold, you can bring it down to the video that you want to blur like this. If I let go, you can see this video now has the face mosaic effect. So if I play the video, you can now see that the person's face is blur. All right, moving on, how do you blur the entire video? So let's use the same video as an example. You want to click on effects and then under video effects, you want to look for lens. So click on lens and then you want to scroll down and look for the blur video effect. So it's over here, blur. Click and hold, and then you bring down this video effect to your video. And then I let go, you can see now we have the effects blur. And if I play the video, you can now see that the entire video is blur. And you can also adjust how much blur you want. Over here on the right side, if you increase it like this, all the way up to 100, then the entire video will be very blurry. And of course, you can also lower it so that it's less blurry. So this is how to blur the entire video. Now, what if you only want to blur a part of your video? What if you only want to blur something in your video? First, you need to blur the entire video like what we did. And then you go and add the original video again, but then you put it on top just like this. So right now we have two video clips, right? The one on top is the original video. The one below is the video that it's blurred, right? So we have these two videos on top of each other. Now, if you only want to blur something, click on the video on top. And then if you look over on the right side under video, click on mask. And then over here, you can actually choose whether you want to go with circle or rectangle. So here you can see if I go with a uh, rectangle, you can now see that we can actually control exactly where we want to blur the video. So if I do something like this, that means the entire video will be blurred except this rectangle. If I choose circle, that means the entire video will be blurred except the circle that uh, I move to, right? Now, of course, if I only want to blur the person's uh, shirt, for example, then what I can do is I can invert. I can reverse this video effect. If you look over here on the right side, there's this little box that says reverse. If I click it, then it's going to reverse the blur effect. So in this case, if let's say I want to blur this person's shirt, then I could go with rectangle, and then I reverse it, and then I just adjust it until his t-shirt is blurred, like this. If I want to blur the camera, then I can just move it like this, and I can blur the camera. Just play around with either the circle shape, like this, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can move it around exactly where you want to blur, or you can do the same with the rectangular shape. Of course, there are other shapes like heart, or star, but they are kind of useless, okay? So most of the time you either use rectangle or circle to blur. And also if you want to adjust how much blurriness you want, you can click on special effects. If I click on special effects, you can see this thing comes out, effects blur. And then if you look over on the right side, we can increase the blur like this. If I increase to 100, you can see the rectangle is very blurry. And of course we can reduce it, we can lower it, until it's not so blurry. So it's up to you to adjust how blurry you want the area to be. Now moving on, how do we blur the background of a video? So if we only want to blur the background, here's how to do it. Click on the video on top, and then you look on the right side under video, you want to click on cut out. And then you turn on auto cut out like this, then you just wait for it to process. It's gonna cut out the person in the video. So wait for it to finish processing. And now let me show you what the video looks like. You can see that we now have a video with a blur background. Now, how does this work? Well, actually it's because the video on top, this is what it really looks like because we have done the auto cut out. So it has already cut out the person from the video. So this is what it really looks like. This is actually playing on top of the video below where the entire video is blur. So when we put 
both videos at the same time, when both plays together, it creates this look where the background is blur. Now in this example, you can see there's a little bit of glitching over here. If I just bring this video clip to the side, you can see it, right? It didn't cut out the person perfectly. There's still a little bit of uh, area that they didn't remove. So to fix this, click on the video, select it, and then under video, go to mask. When you click on mask, then just click on rectangle, and then just make sure you adjust it so that you only keep the person that you want, like this, right? In this example, I only need to keep this person over here. So when I use mask feature, it's gonna cut the video again. So if I do that, that means the entire video will be cut out. So it's only gonna retain this rectangle. So if I play it, you can now see that there's no more glitching at the side because we have already used the mask feature to only keep this area, right? If I move it over here, you can see that this is where the glitching is actually at. So if I move it like that, if I play the video, you can see that there won't be any more glitching because we have fixed it, okay? And then we bring this back on top and you can see we play it together. This is how you blur a background in CapCut.